Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane, and today I'm going to show you this little piece of awesomeness that I found at TFCon Toronto uh, back in July, and it's fantastic. I don't have an Orion Pax, and I really liked uh, the design for this one, which is a repaint of Cup. Uh, from what Ninja Build and Input told me, this is a uh, KO of another company. This is McFan Toys here but the it's an off of some other brand that uh, I'll actually if I find it I'll put it here and if I didn't find it you'll have a stupid joke uh, so yeah I'm uh, really happy to have found this guy because I always liked the idea of Orion Fax getting a, a transformable figure although he would have been a great RED edition uh, but I think he fits as a cup uh, repaint and uh, you know different head sculpt well, I don't know why they gave him guns, because you know he's a factory worker, but uh, no, he looks good. So we're going to review this. Uh, before I do so, check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'll do until I'm dead. And also the 10% um, discount code at DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, uh, which you'll get at the end uh, of the video. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, let's uh, roll out to the review. Okay, out of the box, this is a good figure. Look at that face sculpt. That's that's Orion. I really like this. So accessories, well, box first. You have uh, the shot of him with two guns, dual wielding badass, which he's not. But see, self portrait of the future. And then you have the alt mode with the guns on top of him picture of uh, from the show and then all the uh, foreign text which I can't uh, it says here something advanced oh we unload the energy shipments from the power plant upriver I haven't looked online so I don't know what uh, what he's called but uh, I'm sure yeah I'll figure it out I'll, I'll find it and then I'll put it in text somewhere uh, the instructions kindly enough to put those in this baggies for some reason and shamelessly using cups who's who's veteran as the model so they're not gonna pretend that he's a different uh, mold that's that's it here's cup so <laughs> kind of funny interesting uh this is uh part of um the truck mode but you can use it as a shield so what you do is that little peg here uh are we gonna do it yeah like this so you just plug that in the hole, put it here, and then there you go. Or maybe there's a way you can use it as a shovel, um, you know, from, which is more a working class tool than this guy. I mean, a shield and guns. Uh, you have something, it, it, it kind of reminds me of uh, Optimus Prime's uh, Ion Blaster. Just, he's a little short, but you know, that, that part here really brings that out but you also have two other guns which you can plug here and here to give him a three cannon shot or that's how it's going to be plugged in on the truck mode uh, and then you can just equip him or you can have him dual wield the little guns like you we see here but actually that's the little gun and that's another ion blaster so looks pretty good let's remove this and we're gonna go with the articulations and everything so let me remove this and that's Dion he's my best friend suckering more people into doing your work for you Orion okay so uh, not many articulation but they're good it's pretty much all ball joints I mean the head is not on a ball joint no up down it just rotates uh, 360 pretty good the arm uh, ball joint. Actually, it's not even a ball. It's a little thinner than a ball, but it does the job. 360 like a Ferris wheel. Uh, you have, because of the ball joint at the elbow, you have a 360 here. 
the hand doesn't rotate, I think. Yeah, it's molded. So that's painted over. Uh, and I like the paint application on this guy. The chest, the window, it looks really good. The abs, silver, the crotch area, white, and that uh, baby blue. It's pretty good. The legs will split like a log. Come on, move. There you go. You have a rotation, which you technically, yeah, it's 360-ish. But there's that skirt in the back that prevents it. Uh, no, you have a tilt of the uh, toe because of transformation, but nothing else. So limited uh, rotate uh, articul limited articulation, but uh, it's fun nonetheless. Okay, so for now, for some size comparison, I'm gonna put the Ryan here and uh, put him side by side with what becomes of his girlfriend. And this is Ariel. Keep away from her. She's my girlfriend. Don't listen to him. He's just a jealous type. So, Legend, Deluxe, you can see the uh, difference in scale. But I think it fits. I mean, a rebuilt Ariel should be bigger than an Orion. Future self Optimus Prime from Earthrise with Toy Hacks decals. And maybe at this scale, he's a little short. Like, you'd expect uh, Orion to arrive at least uh, at the chest level, like here but it's a little short but the color you know you have the yellow yellow the window window silver yeah kind of mixed with the white uh, to give gray i don't know it's i think it's a good representation and i really like to put them side by side and with the guy who's gonna mercilessly scrap him megatron from our tries <laughs> Okay, and now to do something that I never do, transformation on screen. Because I think this is a f fun, different, like it's it's really interesting. So you're gonna move the chest piece like this. And then you're gonna open up the whole body and flip it around like this. Don't close the whole thing because you wanna move that arm a little up here and then this is like a double joint so there's a ball joint here so you're gonna bring it uh, it's kind of hard on camera hence why I never do those but you want to move him down so that the chest piece arrives in in uh, in the middle and then you're gonna put this back over there you're gonna squeeze it together like this and then you're gonna take these uh, little, uh, I don't know, wait, you're gonna squish this, put it down, squish, put this down and then push it here. And then those two little pegs on the side of the shoulder are gonna go inside the legs, but you don't wanna squeeze them too much. You're gonna open this up like this. And then, yeah, the hands, they're not, perfectly straight well actually they should be oh no that's right yeah that took a while to figure out last time hold on you gotta because of the peg you want to move the arms in this type of position and then you're gonna take the shield and he's going to go and he's going to go like this here and you're gonna peg it over where you peg the head. So don't squeeze everything just yet. Just put this up like this. Come on. Camera work. I hate doing that. Come on. Alright, there you go. So now you gotta line them up so that uh, this peg here goes here, and then this other peg goes, and then you squeeze it, and then this. It up, put it down, and it's not really ah shit. It's not really aligned properly. Okay, off camera, like this, because this part wasn't clipped properly, so this was falling down. But so there's um, Orion packs, and then you want to take this and add it here. And they don't show you in the instruction where you can uh, actually uh, 
store the shield and or so put it on the side for now but there you go that's supposed to be a worker truck but it looks more like a tail gunner gun truck uh, but it's pretty cool so now um you rolls pretty good actually you have those wheels here and then you know under it's full of robot junk so his back is hurting for sure now for some size comparison let's put him with another cybertronian mode tetrajet nova storm his dark self nemesis prime the siege mold and somewhat of a mold mate cup uh, from the studio series 86 line and i really like you know they are very similar yet different but transformation is completely different and i actually prefer this one to uh this one like i mean cup is good i like him with the toy hacks and everything but he, his transformation is not uh, that fun uh but orion it's amazing all right so let's put uh, this little guy back on his feet anyway what do we care if there's a war there's guardian robots to take care of stuff like that and i've decided to do it on camera just for fun so quite simple you're gonna remove this be careful because there's already stress mark on that part here you can see that white uh, white uh, part which is a little sad but you remove the shield stretch the legs until you heard that good click remove the peg come on and then uh, i guess no it's not clicked yet there you go it's kind of hard because at, uh, at first i thought it would, there was a panel or something to remove but uh, nope it just push in push out and that's it come on there you go and now in this very dignified position you want to this part it's actually kind of hard to do the whole rotation sorry i'm keep knocking the camera because everything is angled awkwardly so you want to remove this see sometimes the ball joint is just going to fall apart which makes it a little easier to correct sometimes okay so he's back in you fold it like this pop the chest back over the wheels so the wheels don't show at all so that's always fun and there you go orion packs in um, robot mode and for my final thoughts i'm really happy i found this guy 35 dollars canadian so not too expensive uh, i know he's a ko but of a, a, a masterpiece scale one maybe but uh I think he's fantastic. I think he does scale pretty good with the War for Cybertron figures. And I'm really happy to have him. So that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Thanks for your support. It means the world. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.